Hello and welcome. My name is Olena Osman. Being in this industry for the past 15 years, I was able to develop and grow my online sales business as a distributor of well-known brands and establish my brand. When I was running my salon, the number of my customers on an average day was between 10 to 12 people. This helped me to develop an algorithm and clearly define steps to achieve good results very quickly. As competitor, I am a two-time global champion, champion of Russia, two-time German champion. I am a multiple winner of nail competitions around the world. Over two years, my entire focus is directed on online education. I develop and build an online platform for a comfortable and practical education. Effective is the key point in this journey for me, as to achieve long-lasting results, you need to understand the topic in and out. This masterclass will take 20 minutes of your time and help you to understand the importance of product control. That will help you during your everyday salon life. So, let's start. Have you experienced the situation when looking back on your work that you did for a while, you have this smile on your face and you think, oh, real? <laughs> and you remember being so proud back then. And now you are looking on it with a different perspective. You see so many points to improve. You are looking at your previous work with a new perspective, with your experience you gained. You have developed an eye and now you are able to define things better. Your standards grow. This is great. Change is a challenge. It's not good to criticize someone's work, but our brain can memorize best if we clearly notice the mistakes during the work. This helps us to avoid them. That's why I take a look at my own work from time to time to define the growth points. The understanding of perfection changes as your eyes start to see and brain can give us a necessary solution for improvement. Looking at the nails as a total result, we know that a certain series of steps is needed to achieve good result. It means that every single step is like a puzzle, making the full picture at the end. Each step we do is important on its own. Let's see what puzzle pieces are hidden behind. To achieve a nice result along the cuticle, all layers, starting from the base layer, must be applied precisely. You have to pay attention on the length of the nails. They can't be different. The rule for salon nails on this point is three nails, index, middle and ring finger, should be same long, thumb a little bit longer and pinky a little bit shorter. In some cases, the nail on the middle finger can be a bit longer, especially if this nail is wider. It will stretch the nail a bit and create a harmonious overall look. The amount of gel on the right side of the surface should be equal to the left side. The roundness of the free edge on the right and left sides as well. The surface must be even and smooth. Let's take a closer look on the surface of the nails. I will work on short natural nails, as this look is so popular nowadays. On each nail we create, we observe the light reflection on the nail surface that indicates the quality, but the main thing, it can help us during the work. Every natural nail has a C-curve. Together with the product that we apply to create an apex, the reflection on the surface will be seen as a slightly elongated oval. The goal that we need to achieve is to create a surface that reflects evenly, no matter in which direction we move the nail. The surface must be even from the highest point on one side to the highest point on the other side. This indicates that the amount of product is evenly divided and we have created a good and proper structure. Exactly this is what we admire very often, looking at photos and videos on social media. An even surface is one of the criteria that make a result to be perfect at the end. But how do we achieve this beautiful and even reflection? And what do different shapes of reflection mean? They can indicate that the surface is uneven, where it is uneven and what to do. Let us take a closer look at this when working with thinner viscosity builder gels 
that help us to create nail structure without additional filing. Most nail designers focus on the middle part of the nail, but most mistakes are hidden on the sides. Before curing, you must check this area and correct it if needed. We aim to achieve even elongated oval reflection with even borders. I place a small amount of build-up product in the middle and level it out to the sides using nail art brush. I hold the finger securely and prop my pinky, which helps me to work in a floating position. Check the sides and notice that the reflection is uneven, kind of fringed, that indicates that something on the surface bothers the product to level out, like dust. But also this can indicate that this area has not enough product and cannot level itself out, creating an even surface. This is mostly the case. I take a small amount of builder gel. This helps the product to level itself out. You have to understand that certain amount of product is needed to be able to pull itself, resulting in an even surface. On this point, it happens so because we are working with liquid gels. Any liquid product undergoes the law of surface tension. Without making it too complicated, for example, the water and oil are both liquid, but have different molecules, resulting in a different surface tension. That's why if you use less product as needed on this point in depends on the size of the natural nail, it can happen easily that the product simply can't create an even surface. If you see a kind of elongated eight or eternity sign, it means that the area in the middle has less product than needed to create a nice surface. I look at the nail from the side to decide what to do. I imagine a nice build-up nail where the upper arch runs evenly. If I see a lot of product on the upper area around apex, I can move the product lower or opposite, if you see too much on the tip, you can move the product higher, depending on what will help you to achieve a nice result. I use my nail art brush to move the amount from the tip to the missing area, as this tip has too much product right now. This amount was enough to level out the missing amount on the middle. Or a second possibility is to add the product exactly on the missing area. With time, you will get more experience to adapt the amount precisely, but it is always easier to add as to struggle with a lot of product. If I see a triangle, a carrot-like reflection, it means that we have too much product in the widest section of this reflection, which is the first third area of the nail. The product is not divided properly, so the free edge is much too thin in compare and the apex is huge. Vice versa, if we see a pear-like looking reflection, it means that there is too much gel on the widest section that in this case is the free edge and we miss product in the apex. Don't forget that the stress zone of the nail is around the free edge. Too much product can cause a lot of problem during the wearing duration as the free edge will be much too heavy as soon as the nail starts to grow. On the tip of the nail, we can observe that the surface becomes uneven, like a wave or maybe like a bump. This happening because of the surface tension. This is very typical for the thinner viscosity products. Before curing, always check the free edge and control the surface properly. Only if you see that the oval reflection has an even contour you know that it indicates a well-balanced surface and the nail can be cured. The gel does not like pressure. That's why all moves I do are kind of in the air. Keep in mind a wonderful water strider. If we distribute the pressure properly, we are able to control the product much better and direct it to the area needed. If you go too deep, if your brush creates a lot of pressure, the gel will need longer to level out and in the same time it will run out completely. Nice and even surface indicates the quality of your work and the light reflection is a good helper on this point. Let's take a look at the product application a little bit closer. 
To build up the nails using a no filing technique is very exciting. So let's take a look how to do this. I use some soak off gel and apply it on a piece of paper that will help me to take some very quickly if needed. First thing I do, I apply a thin and even sliding layer. This layer will help me to distribute the product evenly afterwards. I position the brush with an angle of about 20 degrees according to the surface. Prop your pinky for support and move the brush evenly towards you. On each step it is important to create a good habit of tensing the skin properly. Turn the finger of the customer to the right and left side and apply an even layer. After the sliding layer is applied, I can distribute the gel. The gel is located on one side of my brush. This gives me a good overview. I prop my pinky for support and apply the gel with a small distance of about 1 mm from the cuticle area. I distribute the gel, guiding it towards me. On this step, I distribute the product fading to the free edge. The main part remains in the apex zone. I move my brush in the air to the right and left side, guiding the product fading to the free edge. Pay attention and do not apply any product to the side right and left. Change for the nail up brush. This helps you to create less pressure. I prop my pinky finger for support and work with even moves on the right side and the left side. The sliding layer and the C-curve of the nail help me to distribute the product. Pay attention to the light reflection of the surface. If I see any reflection similar to the 8 or eternity sign, it means that in the middle of the 8 we miss some product and the surface can't level itself out. I take some product and place it exactly in the middle of the 8. Use some product and a nail art brush and apply it without pressure. If you use pressure, you will have to fight. Give product a second to level out. I check the light reflection, especially on the sides right and left. Exactly here the most mistakes are hidden and it's difficult to level them afterwards. Check twice, turn the finger of the customer to the right and left side and ensure that the light reflection is even. Also, some mistakes are hidden on the free edge. It is important to control this area as well. I use the tip of the brush and remove everything that is bothering me. Mostly, it can be recognized on a bump that we should remove before curing. During the product application we have to create a good habit of tensing the skin. But if you tense wide above, the tension will not reach the area needed. Position your finger exactly over the proximal area and tense the skin. If you tense the skin, you can see exactly where you apply your brush. This is very important. I prop my pinky for support and apply sliding layer first. Turn the finger of the customer to the right and left side and watch the corner of my brush moving. I help myself and tense the skin in the sinus area. Also, this helps you to control the product application. On this step, it's particularly important. I take some gel out of the bottle. This gel is a little bit more flexible, but with this customer we encounter a quite long nail bed. Also, the length of the free edge is quite short. I want to create durable but natural looking nails. I apply product at the first third zone of the natural nail to create apex and to distribute it fading to the free edge. The main amount of product remains in the midsection. I pay attention to work without any pressure to ensure that I do not press any product to the right and left side. This is crucial, as this way we create a flat-looking nail. Simply to tell, our aim is to keep the main amount of the product in the middle. Just imagine a nice half-moon surface. I'm changing for the nail art brush and guide the brush on the right and left side with even moves towards me. Exactly these moves and less pressure help me to create a nice roundness of the nail. All the way through when working, I pay attention to the light reflection. Also, my pinky is propped for support. Working with no file technique is easy if you keep in mind the things that can help you. Light reflection and less pressure. Also, you have to consider well where to apply the product. 
Before curing, I check the reflection of the light. This tells you everything about your work. It's very important to pay attention to it. But one more very important aspect. When using no filing technique, you have to educate your customers how to position the hand in the lamp. If they position it wrong, it can simply screw your result. That's why please teach them to position the hand correctly under the light. Do not assume they know it. Carry your professional responsibility. On the sides, the mistakes are hidden. Please check your sides before you cure. I move on to the next nail. Prop my pinky for support as usual and apply an even sliding layer, trying to work with less moves as possible. This way you can ensure to work quicker. We already determined that the snails have nice long nail bed and also nice C curve. Let's look from the side. The apex is visible in the middle of the nail plate. We apply the main amount of product between the zone 1 and 2. In general, with such nails we do not need a lot of product to create durability. I apply the main amount of the product in the first third part of the natural nail and distribute it fading to the free edge. It means the main amount remains in the apex area. It is important to distribute the product with no pressure, because we want to achieve a nice and even half moon on the surface of the nail. I use a nail art brush to distribute the product and imagine the structure I would like to create. The main amount should stay in the middle. If you use to file the surface, it is easy to imagine how the nail looks like after the product is filed. Basically, this we want to achieve when applying and distributing the product. No matter which situation you encounter in front of you during your everyday salon work, you will be able to achieve nice results only if you will think of your next step. Create good habits during the work and pay attention to the light reflection. I move the finger of the customer and see that the light reflection is uneven. I see an uneven 8. It means that in the center of the 8, I miss some product. I use my nail art brush and apply the product exactly in the middle. I give product just a couple of seconds to level itself out. It's like a magic. You will achieve a nice and even surface. Control the sides right and left to ensure that there are no mistakes hidden. Move the finger of the customer to the right and left side. Watch the light reflection. The reflection of the light must be even when moving the nail from one side to another, resulting in even, elongated oval reflection. Only if you see this reflection, cure. I move on to the next finger, prop my pinky for support and apply the sliding layer. The only exception when I do not use sliding layer is a very strongly pronounced seeker of about 60 to 70 percentage. On such nails, the product can run very quickly. In general, we have to understand that the no filing technique is not suitable to the 100% of our customers, but mostly to the 80%. With the customer that we have nowadays that prefer short and natural looking nails, the no filing technique is the best choice. I distribute the product fading to the free edge. The main amount remains in the middle. Work very gently and carefully, using less pressure. Exactly this will help you to achieve a nice and even result very quickly. I work with the tip of the brush, with long even moves towards me. Keep in mind to control the sides and the free edge. Always prop your pinky for support and check the result before curing. When talking about the proper structure on a short nail, the main amount of product is hidden in the center. We have to have less product on the sides as well as on the free edge and the cuticle area. Think about the further steps that you will do. You will apply color and you will apply gloss. These layers will additionally create thickness and we want to avoid thick looking nails. To achieve good result, I also keep in mind what happened on a previous step. And I remember that I perhaps 
touch the skin with base. That's why I use a rosewood stick and push back the cuticle just to ensure that nothing sticks to the skin and I can apply the product properly. The whole area on the thumb is larger. That's why I will need to apply a little bit more product. But sliding layer first. I turn the finger of the customer to the right and left side. On this step, a lot of girls are shy. They kind of don't want to move the finger of the customer. This is wrong. We have to have comfortable during our work. Comfort during the work contributes to a nice result afterwards. I take some amount of product. Looking right now at my brush, I realize that I take too much. But just look how I guide it. I work literally in the air, moving the brush to the right and left side. Remove what's too much. This is very important. Do not fight with product. If you over applied it, remove it before it starts to run. After the product is applied, I analyze. I try to calculate where I applied too much or where I missed the product. This helps me to react quickly and do next step. I correct the free edge and work on the right and left side, creating a nice structure of the nail. Also here I pay attention to the light reflection. Move the finger of the customer, ensure that you apply the product even everywhere. The light reflection is talking to you. It will tell you all of the mistakes you have made. But also, when positioning the light, you can make a huge mistake. If you position the lamp much too close, the oval reflection is so huge that you barely can concentrate yourself on it. That's why it is important to position the lamp so you see the reflection and it doesn't guide you wrong. On this thumb, I see a pear-like reflection. It means I have more amount of product on the free edge. First of all, it doesn't look nice because such nails look very heavy. But secondly, during the wearing duration, the nail grows and the free edge becomes much too heavy. This can lead to injuries of the nail bed. It is very important to remove this product. I use the tip of the brush and guide this product to the middle. And now let's take a look on our result. The nails are built up with no filing technique. I see a nice and even oval reflection. The apex is same on all nails. The surface is even and ready for the color application. Thank you for spending your precious time with me and I hope you enjoyed this masterclass. If you want to learn more about perfect salon nails, how to achieve a nice result quickly and continuously, you are welcome to attend my perfect salon nail class.